The director of the theater department, David Balthrop, took a break from his work to tell us why and how the department is so successful. So our department stands out here, I think, because of the students and their dedication to the cause and our faculty and staff's dedication to the cause. They're all willing to put in extra time, extra effort, and I think that leads our alumni to do great things when they get out of here. Murray may be a small town, but the theater department has connections all over the globe. It goes back to what the students are able to do while they're here and then take that away. And of course, if we have alumni all over the, all over the planet, then we're going to be known all over the planet. So I think it goes back to the dedication once again. They're willing to put in the time, the effort, and then when they get out of here, they're able to take that anywhere they wish to go. Many theater grads have gone on to have very successful careers, and two in particular have become a famous actor and a soap opera star. Uh, Chrishell and Jalone specifically are dear to my heart because they were here when I was here as a teacher and a chairman, and we had some great times with them. Uh, Jalone was also a football player, so we got to have some fun with him as a football player as well as a theater person. Uh, Chrishell was always fun, always laughing, always having a great time. She was in several shows, did an excellent job in all those shows. Jalone, because of his football, wasn't in as many productions as Chrishell, but we also had a great time with him. And obviously they did well. Members of the theater department have many exciting spring productions planned, and they're busy rehearsing for next semester. Coming up we have Harvey, which opens in just a couple of weeks actually. We have then a show called Fat Pig in the studio theater next semester, which is a show about the controversy of um, women's bodies. And then we have She Stoops to Conquer, which is a restoration English piece from the 1700s in April. And this year we also had Princess and the Pea, which had about 5,000 uh, elementary school students come and see it. And we opened the season with Woman in Black, which was a, a very fun ghost story that we did in here, and it involved the entire space. We had projections on the walls and all kinds of fun things going on. Many new faces to the department put a lot of work into their first production of The Princess and the Pea, which tells a story of a princess trying to prove she's worthy of the prince and live happily ever after. We had a almost entire crew of freshmen on that show, in the show as well as backstage, and they all did a marvelous job, and, and there were four to 5,000 students who were here from local and regional elementary schools, and they seemed to really enjoy the show. Behind the scenes work goes into making a production. Students and faculty work tirelessly around the clock to make the shows possible. A two-step system, actually, that we use to teach our students. Of course, they're in the classroom, and that begins at 8 o'clock in the morning, Monday through Friday. And then after that, they have production work to do. And that means that our faculty members are here from 8 in the morning until 10 o'clock at night, five days a week. And that's also what our students do. They have to keep that same schedule. So the time dedication is huge.